In this video, I'm going to show you how to increase your pistol fire rate and also the weapon sounds from this. To this. Reloading. Let me show you how to do it. Let's go. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. This is your bro Benzo. We got a cool tutorial for you today, guys. We're going to be installing a weapon sound pack. It's really easy to install. I'll show you how to do it. And also, we're going to be installing a new mod to increase your weapon's fire rate. It's pretty awesome, guys, and I think this is more realistic for you, especially if you play LSPD Fire. And even if you do not play LSPD Fire, I think you're going to get some use out of this video. So let's go. Okay, first things first, we're going to pull up our Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. If you do know how to do that, make sure that you go watch my LSPD Fire install tutorial. It'll show you very beginning of the video how to, to get to your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. You're also going to get, make sure you have a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, you're going to right click, you're going to go to new, you're going to make a new folder, and you're going to name it mods. And I already have one here. I always tell people at the beginning of these tutorials, it's super important to make sure you have your entire update folder copied over into your mods folder and the way you do that is just simply right click on your update folder go to copy and then go back to your mods folder and you're going to paste it right here please uh note it's going to take a long time guys a long long time so if you have a ssd drive it's a solid state drive it shouldn't take more than say maybe 15 minutes but if you have a non-solid state drive it may take upwards of even over an hour so just kind of be prepared for that when you do this kind of tutorial like this it's going to be well worth it in the long run so that way it doesn't mess up your entire game and now we're going to go ahead and download a few things that we need for this particular mod let's go okay the very bottom of this description of this video i've got a uh, an lspd farm master links page that i've uh, compiled here guys and we've got a ton of different files inside this particular links page and one thing i do have is called gun sounds and audio weapon mods things like that we're going to be downloading an OIV and I'll show you how to install that. We're going to download this one first. We're going to go to the website. It's going to be the GTA 5 mod site. We're going to download this one and then I'll show you the next one we're going to download. Okay, the next thing we're going to download is called Weapons Rate of Fire. It's for pistols and combat pistols only. But uh, if you're playing like uh, as a police officer, things like that, you're going to be you're not going to be really using this for other types of weapons, things like that. So it's mainly for the pistols. Uh, so the pistol and the combat pistol. So we're going to be downloading this particular mod right here. It's going to be on the GTA 5 mod site. Okay, we have our open IV opened right now. And then it should look something sort of like this. If you look at the mods folder, it's going to be like a purple folder. And then the first thing you want to do is click on edit mode. Click on yes. And then we're going to open our very first uh, particular zip file. and Or like a WinRAR or a 7-zip will actually open these things. If you pull it off to the side, you're going to see it's rgs.oiv. I'll show you how to install this. This is like an install package. You're going to take this particular file. You're going to pull it right onto your desktop. And then what we want to do next is you're going to go to tools and you're going to go to package installer. So once you go to package installer, it's going to be looking for an OIV. So we're going to go to desktop. We're going to find that OIV. And for me, it's going to be right here. So it's going to be rgs.oiv. We're going to double click this and this is uh, what we want to do next is we're going to be installing this but once again we want to make sure it's in our mods folder so we're going to install this and then make sure it doesn't go to your game folder but your mods folder you're going to click on that and then you're going to click on confirm installation right here now notice my pathways may be a little different than yours don't let that worry you we're going to go to install and that's going to replace several of the uh, actual gun sounds in game and I found that the pistols uh, sound spectacular, especially the M4 carbines and the actual shotguns sound fantastic. So actually that's all you need to do guys. So that, that'll actually replace the weapon sounds in game. So we're gonna close that out. And then the, the rate of fire is gonna be just a little bit meticulous, but it's not that hard. So we're gonna pull this one up next. And then we have the, uh, this is the one I would recommend right here. It's called Pistols and Combat Pistol. We're going to drag this folder onto our desktop. It's not really 100% necessary that you do that, but I kind of like to have it uh, just kind of out of the way and actually on the desktop. And also it transfers a little bit over a little bit better whenever you're installing these kinds of things. So we're going to go ahead and open this up right here. 
Now, if you look real close, you're going to want to follow most of the readmes that are going to be inside these kind of plugins and things like that. But this time we're going to be just replacing some of these meta files and I'll show you how to do this. So we're going to open up the readme and I'm going to be using this as a guide to install these other two uh, folders right here. These other two meta files, it's going to be weapon animation and then the actual weapons. So we're going to be installing these directly into this pathway right here. So notice the pathway right here is open IV mods, update, update RPF, common data, and then the AI. You're going to be dragging both of these in the same area. So it's really simple. I'm going to pull this down just a little bit so I can see the pathway. If we go back to mods right here and you notice it's GTA five. So we have open IV and then it's kind of, I guess, um, kind of understood that it's going to be granted Auto five. You're going to go to mods, which we already in. We're going to go to update, update RPF. We're going to go to common. We're going to go to data and then AI. Now you notice these right here, these are meta files. So these, these, both of these are going to copy over exactly the same area. So this is going to be weapon animations. If you look real close, you'll see a weapon animation It's a 935 kilobyte. It says compressed and encrypted. So when I pull this over here, uh, this particular file that's in this folder, when I pull it off over to here, we don't have to worry about it corrupting our game because we're inside our mods folder. So we're going to drag this particular meta file. And you'll notice that the encrypted will go away once we do this. And it should potentially change the actual size of the file. So we're going to drag this right here and literally drag and drop. And you notice it did change the kilobyte just slightly. And then it does say compress. So we know something took effect. The next one is the actual weapons.meta. And this is the, uh, it's going to show you the actual rate of fire in the game. And I'm going to show you what that looks like in just a moment. So we're going to go to weapons. And notice it's going to be the same thing. It's going to say it's 1,078 kilobytes. We're going to drag weapons straight into this. And notice it changed just slightly. And it's already compressed, so we don't really have to worry about it whether it took effect or not. So just that little bit of difference in the kilobytes will show you that you did modify the file. So that should change the actual weapon rate of fire in game. And now we're going to see what it sounds like in game. Let's go. Okay guys, here we are in game, and then this is the pistol sound right here. Okay, and then here's the combat pistol. Here's the uh, M4 carbine. Here's the uh, actual echo off the buildings as well. Here's a pump shotgun. And like I said, you can hear the uh, echo in the distance. And then more importantly, this is the actual fire rate of the pistol. I'm out of ammo. And pistol fire rate for the combat pistol as well. All right, guys, this is going to conclude our tutorial for the day for the pistol fire rate and also the pistol sounds and as well as the other weapon sounds. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If it did help you in any way, guys, be sure to drop a like down below. Too many people are forgetting to do that, but I do greatly appreciate the people that actually do hit the like button. And then comment down below, guys, what you'd like to see next, and then we'll see you on the next patrol. Stay safe. Thank you for watching Benzo's YouTube channel. Be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Benzo uploads often, so stay tuned for the next episode.